the Spanish desert. We're at the Aragon Circuit, where the latest race in the MotoGP class is about to start. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing, so we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which riders have opted for... The final riders have taken their place on the starting grid and everything is ready to start the race. Just a few seconds to go and the lights at the Aragon track will signal the start of the race. He's going to get in at the lights out. Oh, good start from Quattararo, but a better one from Gavrick. Well, now Gavrick has popped down and gone backwards to fourth place. So Grasso got it rolling, then it looked like it really petered out slightly. So Morbidelli runs that. We've seen that so many times at that first turn. The full tank of fuel, when you get there for the first time, running on into turn one is really tricky. Turn two doesn't seem to have caught anybody out either. This overhead camera gives you just a bit of an idea how tricky this is. So leading it, wow, straight away, Maverick Vinales. That was a start that he wanted, wasn't it? So Vinales then has got this off the line just as he was hoping he would do. Electronics are the given thing after all. Yeah, absolutely. Rin's got a really good start. He's in fourth place. Mia's down in. Where did he end up? I think he ended up in sixth place at the end of that. It was a tight first corner. Cal got a terrible start. Yeah, I was going to say, it started rolling really well. He got the clutch out proper, and then it seemed to go backwards very slightly. We're at the corkscrew. Mary Vinales from uh, Fabio Quattararo from Morbidelli. Next to Suzuki of Rins. Suzuki of Rins, yes, it is. Dobby oh. has. Sorry, Dobby has got a great start. Up to eighth on 13th on the grid, and we've still got the straight to come. And that's what he needed, of course. Davizioso is going to win this championship. Well, He's got to make it work here. Morbidelli up the inside, the inside He's of Cotterrell. He's going to run He's got on one. straight, though. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what you pointed out. You can get in there. In fact, I think you pointed it out with the two. Uh, well, the it was boys. with yeah, Morbidelli, but he got, uh, he got nerfed. That was last year with Rins. Similar thing. He hasn't learned then, has he? You should watch your um, track guides. On to the back straight then, we go, Maverick Vinales, and that's what the Yamaha's needed, was a bit of a lead over the fast bike, so they couldn't get to blasting up the inside into the braking area. I'll tell you what, Maverick Vinales manages to get this couple of laps under, underway here, this is all very Jorge Lorenzo-esque. Yeah. Here is Mia. And, and Mia got past uh, by Miller, by Ducati, yeah, which you would expect to get. And he'll uh, drop in a little bit on this front straight as well. End of the first lap then, 22 laps to go. Down towards turn one. This transition into turn two is one to watch out for. We saw how much it caught out the race leaders in the, the Moto 2 race here. Alex Marquez makes a nice move. He's looking good here and he's looking at home on that Honda. Yep. The 73 bike. Must got me there. Yeah. I mean, what's in front of him in the braking zone? And it made it look easy as well. Got to say, we know the Honda works around here. Certainly in the hands of his brother. He'll hate that saying and hate hearing that so often. He's, he's just looked right this weekend on the Honda, hasn't he, Keith? It's amazing. People are wondering whether, because Mark Marquez isn't here, whether the Honda has been uh, doctored in a way that suits other riders for a change. Might have a point there, actually. It's certainly working on this track. So then, out front, Maverick Vinales, soft front, soft rear. Fabio Cotteraro and his teammate at the Sepang International Racing Team have gone with a medium front, soft rear. So a slightly different front tyre situation set up for the two independent team Yamahas that are chasing Vinales down. Listen to uh, Piero Tomasso, the uh, Michelin top man at trackside talking about the medium just takes a little bit longer to get the heat in it to get come bring it up to speed two or three laps he reckoned to bring the mediums up to speed that's uh, more to do with the rear i suppose than the front but it's all relative at the end of the day vinales set a blistering opening lap from the lights out here's jack miller got a suzuki all over him it's going to be difficult for the suzuki to make any kind of pass onto this back straight that's for sure Miller from Mia, Miller on 43, Mia on 36. Look at that, just pulls away. Yeah, there's nothing you can do at all. That is just sheer horsepower. All on the back straight there, 0.6 of a mile down towards turns 16 and 17. And Dobby repays the... Uh, he's going to run wide, though, and so Alex Marquez is going to get back under him again. Alex Marquez, the rookie, remember? Podium last time out in Le Mans. Brilliant ride from him, the uh, younger of the Marquez brothers. Coming good in MotoGP. He's a double world champion, remember? Moto3, Moto2. Oh, smoky feet everywhere there. 
feet down and smoky rubber and oh this is tight as rins and morbidelli yeah morbidelli made a, made a mistake into yeah. turn one it's it's easily done there's a few bumps in there it's a really flat corner at the apex so if you're getting a little bit hot you have to go wide and it's only fp4 where they have the chance to really use the full tank of fuel to actually get themselves into that kind of momentum yeah morbidelli wide again there keith so he's uh, Push maybe it. got the setting off ever so slightly just with that full tank yep Mia, 36. Has got in front of yes. Miller, which is very important for him. But we are... Oh, hang on. Oh, dear. That's Bagnaia. Bagnaia got down. He's not had the weekend we were expecting either, has he, Bagnaia? Terrible. 63. Weekend. Terrible, Pete. Bagnaia qualified down on the sixth row of the grid. And that was good. He was floating literally around about 19th, 18th throughout the whole weekend. Bear in mind, there's only seven rows of the grid. But he's... Uh, but he solved the turning problems on that Ducati, according to the bosses, remember? Yeah. Bizarre. Well, I think that's their that, hope. That was, that, was, <laughs> that was a few rounds ago that statement was made. Airbag's gone off. What did I do? Well, I'm, I'm guessing someone helped him with that crash. He doesn't mind the look on his face, but then again, that is a rider's distraction tactic, isn't it, really? Alex Marquez to, uh, to pass his uh, next year's teammate. Yeah. Alex Marquez goes to LCR next year. He's not in the Repsol Honda team, the full factory team next year. He goes to Lucio Ciccinello's team. Uh, he and Takaki Nakagami are next to each other on the track at the moment. Takaki Nakagami in seventh place, Mark is in eighth. Doggy's behind them. So this uh, race beginning to settle now. Maverick Vinales is into his stride, but he hasn't disappeared up the road like you might have thought he could, given the pace that he's had. And also with that softer front tyre, you know, we, it's going to work on the, the first five laps, and that's the advantage he would have had with that soft front, especially around the tricky corners like turn two. I think it's going to be a problem. I think with 31 degrees of track temperature, that's higher than it's been all week here. And with this, what, 23 lap race, 72 miles. Alex I Marquez has passed Takanakagami and he's catching Miller very fast. Alex Marquez has come of age. Said he found something in the test at Barcelona ages ago, which, what, what's that now? That's, what, over a month ago, <laughs> but whatever it was. It's so, a great job, yeah. Marquez. We've got a new link this weekend, Honda, all the Honda riders like it. Says it uh, helps the weight transfer of that motorcycle much better. Cal Crutchlow, down in 12th place. Diabolical start for Cal Crutchlow. Looked like it launched OK and then just went backwards into Turn 1. And he got mired in amongst the pack. Crutch, though, has not had the start to this race that he might have expected from that front row. Ooh. Hearing noises in my head there for a moment. It sounded not, like a crash. Yeah, I'm glad oh. I didn't see it in the front view anyway, or any of them actually, but uh, Maverick Vinales was the one I was thinking of for a moment there. Oh, look at that great on board if you look back into the rather unusual style of Alex Rins. Rins oh. neck. Keith, Rins qualified 10th, yeah, and, and actually... We've not mentioned his name once all weekend. He's not been having a, a, what I'd call a strong weekend. He's never really been inside the top five. Well, Mia's had his record for this year, really, hasn't he? Shall and Mia, his teammate, second in the championship. But uh, at the minute, it's Rins that's doing the business. Mia's still yet to win a race, whereas this man has on a Suzuki. Yep. Oh, right on it now. Look at this. Here comes Rins. Not quite in the braking area on Quattararo, but he's pushing Quattararo hard. Quattararo's fitness throughout the entire race distance here is going to be interesting. He is going to be sapping, his strength is going to be lacking towards the end of this. He's had a massive beating. Two. Twice. Yeah, yeah. two very, very fast crashes in the cold conditions of Friday, locking the front of the braking zones and proper face planted. Mapping two. Are they releasing rims? Are they giving him a little bit more to pass the Yamaha? Or is it the opposite? Are they saying, right, we've given you full power for these opening laps so you don't get bugged? Remember, you have to save that rear tyre. Oh, right out on the green stuff there, as evidenced by our onboard camera. It's all right, the stewards are what about the green? Oh, don't go there, please. I mean, it's yeah. just a nightmare, the consistency. I've, I've yet to work that out yet. Me too. Anyway, you are reading with, about yeah, it plenty. Yeah, we won't uh, give that away, but uh, let's just say it was in the Moto3 race. Yeah. So, can Alex Rins make the pass on Fabio Quattararo. He's right there with him. Be interesting to see if we stay with this on-board camera when we get around to the uh, straight. There's the wall on the left-hand side. Fantastic, isn't it? Turns 13 is the right-hander. Down towards 14. Over this crest, it's a bit of a nightmare just there. The amount of time we've seen people fall there this week. Now then, corner onto the back straight. Turn 15. 
Suzuki versus Yamaha. Yeah, nothing in it really. And speed trap wise, what I've seen throughout the weekend, he's, he's got some slip shift, so he should close in a bit. Look, they're pretty similar, aren't they? Look like he got a slightly better launch onto that straight as well, then. But uh, no doubt about it, the factory M1 Yamaha of yeah, Maverick oh, Vinales. I mean, look at that bike. Unreal. Turn. Unreal. Unreal. Incredible. Absolutely turned. Wow. Look at that. And the Andy Body Cotteraro said about the Suzuki a few weeks ago. Best bike, Best on, the bike on the grid. <laughs> You'll be underlining that after that one, that's for sure. By the look of that, it was right. Yeah. I was stunned. Normally, if you see a bike that time turned so well, you expect it to go wide on the exit, or at least have some pumping on the exit, but the, there was none of that from Rins. Stunning. Stunning, that's the word. So, Rins goes second. Alex Rins, he's going to close Maverick down as well. Suddenly, we're all looking to see what... Uh, yeah. <laughs> where did this come from? We really haven't talked about Rins. Favourites for this race, it was always going to be the three Yamahas look, look great. Mears had a fantastic pace, and then we talked more about the Hondas before we talked about Rins. It's going to be tyre management again. Rins has got a soft front and a soft rear. Will they keep going right to the end? We've got to say Suzuki are pretty good on tyres, so... Rins is... Uh, yeah, interesting. He's closing What's... him. He's closing him down. So Maverick Vinales has got a race on his hands here with Alex Rins. It will be unexpected, I'm sure. Keith, until he looks at his board. In one lap. Look at this. Yeah. He passed. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, good move. Uh, these two know each other well from 2014, if you remember, the Motor 3 World Championship. He went down to the last race. What a season that was in Motor 3. Actually, uh, if you remember, it went down to the last race and Alex Rins won it. Uh, sorry, um, Alex Marquez won it, but basically it was one of those seasons where he was really consistent. Yeah, Miller was consistent. Miller, Miller had a bit more speed, but, but he had to it. fight at the last round. I remember that was, for me, I think the comic was where the boy grew into a man. Yeah. For me, and he won that World Championship in the year when uh, there were a lot of good... ...complete their victory lap and return to the Parc Ferme. Let's take a look at the final ranking of today's race. This second place finish is an excellent result for both him and his team, giving them hope for the following races. It was a very intense weekend. Finally, the moment has come for the riders who put their talent on show to celebrate. With such an exciting race, these three guys deserve the applause of everyone under the podium.